It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. James will see you out. No one. Very well. Gentlemen, it has been an honor and a privilege. Before we drink, allow me to offer a final toast. To the world that was, mankind shall never see its light again. How's it going guys? It's a final render here. One exciting week it is for Fallout. Not only is Nuka World a few days away, but it's time for another episode of Fallout 4, Building with Mods. Huh, oh, actually I don't know if that's too exciting. But anyways, welcome to the Boylston Club. The Boylston Club is a truly unique location in Fallout 4, being that it's got a really nice atmosphere to it. It's got a very dark horror atmosphere, and I'm going to be converting this place into a lovely home. Let's go. So the Boylston Club in-game is originally a place where some of the most highest people in society get together to have really expensive drinks, really expensive cigars, and otherwise just be extremely snobby and talk about how great it is to be rich. These are people who had to spend $500,000 a year just to be allowed entrance to this special unique club. And a few days, I believe it was 10 days after the bombs fell, all these people decided to get together in their unique club and all commit suicide by drinking poisoned wine. So, very unique and interesting location, but we gotta restore it. We're mostly gonna be using the creation kit, as you can see here, to clean the place up, because the place is a wreck and all the wallpaper is falling down, but using the creation kit, I can make it clean, and I can pick up an awful lot of the scrap that you would normally have to use a special mod in order to get rid of, but I'm able to do it in the creation kit, so I don't have to worry about it later on. And that already cleans up the place an awful lot, to tell you the truth, but, we're also going to expand it. We are going to push the walls back and then we are going to be adding a second floor as well as more space on the ground floor just to make this place look like a really unique, exciting building rather than just a tiny little room where some rich people kind of gather together to smoke really expensive cigars. It's going to be a much bigger kind of luxurious club with a huge kind of bachelor pad on the top floor. So we are going to keep the kind of bachelor themed aesthetic, but we're just going to make this place much, much nicer. And also, we are going to convert it into an actual settlement. So therefore, you guys will be able to download this bigger and expanded location and use it as a settlement. I was originally going to use these spiral staircases in order to get up, but not only can I not make them look clean by changing the material, but also they take up way too much room, unfortunately. It just doesn't work with the spiral staircases, despite how much I like the aesthetic. So I actually replace it with an elevator. And we're starting to build up the rails on the top floor, looking down on all the people on the bottom floor, so that whoever is the bachelor, the kind of king of this area, can look down at everyone who is currently down in the club. We're also going to expand some of the dining area so that we've got some places to sit. And we're also going to have a little fireplace and also another coffee table and some kind of cozy chairs. I've also done a lot of effort to replace all the wallpaper with clean wallpaper. All the floors have been replaced with clean floors. Everything is now clean and it took a really long time to do that people. It really, really did. But now, here we are actually building up the kind of bachelor flat, so to speak, the bachelor apartment. This is going to be an area exclusive to whoever is in charge, and it is going to be really open spaced and have lots and lots of decorations in here, because it's going to look absolutely glorious for the person who earns millions of dollars just by owning this building. It has its own sleeping area, and it also has its very own ensuite bathroom, which is a pretty darn big ensuite bathroom actually, but we need all the space we could possibly get to make this place look like something fit for a king. A modern day king, with way too much money. So, how about we actually go ahead and take a look at the place in full? This is it now, it is approximately two thirds as big as what it originally was, it is now huge. And we're also going to be putting a little workshop down on the ground floor where normally you can find the safe which you can get access to in this place. And then after that's been done, we can make it a settlement. And here we go. This is place in game fully cleaned up. As you can see, the effects of this place now look gorgeous with everything fully clean. When it's kind of morning and the light rays come through the windows, this place looks so, so good. I love the god race in this game, I really, really do. And something which I've definitely noticed about using the creation kit with this is that it was definitely kind of arranged by Bethesda to be kind of put together like a jigsaw puzzle so you can very quickly, easily and change things. So I was able to get this building and very quickly expand it 
and change all the materials to make it look pre-war. It's fantastic, and I really do like this new location now. It definitely feels like a much bigger location, but that being said, it still feels like the original kind of location that was here. It still has the same flavor, it still has the same feel. However, it is much, much bigger, much, much tidier, and this is a definite good insight into what it was like pre-war. Before the bombs fell, this place would have looked like this, and you know what? I really can't blame the people who had the money to come here, come in here. It's a lovely place. And now using scrap dead things, we are able to clear up all of the dead skeletons that are kind of lying around the place. They, as I said, they all committed suicide by drinking poisoned wine. And we're going to put up these fancy wall lights in order to fully illuminate the place and make it actually usable for when we're building in here. Because right now you can't see anything, there's no natural sunlight here. And once we have actually got all the lights in place, the kind of colours really do start to come out. The bed for the bachelor pad is going to be the lover's luxury bed, the lady killer edition. I've used this mod before, however that was in kind of different textures, called the black widow version. We're going to be using a brand new painting system called the art connoisseur system, which gives us lots of new frames for our paintings. We're going to use renovated furniture for a lot of our decorated furniture. And we're also going to have settlement objects expansion pack to give us lots of decorations, along with Dino's decorations, which is very similar to do it yourself. In fact, I think it might be made by the same person, which gives us lots of cluttered decorations, which we can place as a single object. So we don't have to arrange individual objects. Just a few of those things really help make this place come to life. And now we're actually going to go ahead and build a large chem station area because the idea is that you would get lots of fine liquors and you would get lots of fine cigars downstairs but secretly upstairs in the bachelor pad there are just loads and loads of chems which normally high society wouldn't touch but in this case they do. And we're also going to be using the do it yourself mod so that we can get some of our lovely new renovated furniture and then we can fully stack all of the shelves very quickly and very easily. I always said that some of the best mods which you can get in Fallout are the ones which are decoration mods. And ones like this, which enable you to highly decorate the place very quickly and easily, are an absolute godsend. I love these mods, they're fantastic, save so much time, so much effort, and not only that, they all look great. Every one of these kind of do-it-yourself assets. And here we go, this is the bachelor pad fully finished. This place looks lovely. I really like this place. I'd happily spend a night in this bachelor pad. It looks 100% glorious. We've got loads of empty space so that we can walk around and have guests in here if we want to. We have got a really nicely decorated table set, which is not law friendly, I know, but hey, law friendly is boring. Let's have a giant computer monitor. And we've also got loads of drugs available so that we can kind of separate the bachelor from the people who are downstairs. Lots of books to kind of keep the aesthetic with kind of heads on the wall of hunting to kind of give it that upper class feeling and I'm really happy with this kind of bachelor pad. It turned out much nicer than I thought and I actually made this room in about 30 minutes or something like that, maybe 20 minutes because we've got so many mods to make it quicker and easier and I love the way it's going. And now for the ensuite, we've got CWSS Redux, craftable working showers, sinks, bath, toilets, urinals, etc. This is a really cool mod which adds lots of baths, urinals, toilets to the game and not only that, but they're actually animated so that you can actually use them in game. We'll see more of that later. But for actually kind of decorating the ensuite, I wanted to have an awful lot of space in this place so that we could get lots and lots of decorations in here. And also I wanted to have kind of separate stations throughout the entire place with lots of little decorations for each little place. So rather than just having what is basically a stool, which just has a toilet in there and a shower, we have got all the individual elements laid out, ready to use straight away. But this mod actually adds loads of extra things. It adds loads and loads of accessories which you can use, such as shower curtains which snap onto the actual showers themselves. And it has got an awful lot of thought into what would actually make the settlements look good with pre-war versions as well as post-war versions as well. So that you can kind of get whatever feeling location you want and still have the animations which are placed in the mod as well. And that's great. Got to put up some paintings just to finish the place off. And here we go. The place actually starts to look really, really good once you start to layer all of the elements on top of another. And the thing about this little ensuite is that none of it feels out of place. It all feels very appropriate to the kind of feeling we're going for. It still has the kind of aesthetic color palette that you can see with the rest of the building. But this place really does feel like a private place away from everyone else, but still has loads of the same feeling of the overall building. And as you can see here, these things are actually animated and your character will strip down and they will use for showers, they will use the bathtubs and they do use for toilets as well but I refuse to show that because there are some rather gross sound effects in there. 
but the fact that we can actually get these mods in here to work is fantastic. And now, we're just going to go back downstairs and do some kind of little crims crams in the main area, just to kind of give it some life. I didn't actually put too much emphasis on decorating the lower area, because I'd done a lot of that with the creation kit already. But we do have to put a couple little decorations down there, just to kind of give it some character downstairs as well. Because it was just furniture, but now as we put the decorations on there, it does start to become a lot more interesting, I think. And the cool thing about this big area downstairs is that it's okay for it to be open. It's a place which you're meant to relax in, so you don't have to fill every single part of the room with decorations. You know, you can have lots of open space and lots of places to just kind of admire the location, and it works really well. And here is the place actually fully done now. I tell you what, man, when the light rays come in through the windows at just the right angle at about 8 o'clock in the in-game morning, and you've got all this luscious red wallpaper, it looks gorgeous, it really really does, and it really fills the aesthetic I was going for, of this kind of upper part of society, which don't rely on technology and television screens, it's the company they keep, that's what makes them happy, the company they keep, and also the various consumable products which they consume in the location, but that's not what I mean, it's about a special club where you just talk and have fun, and maybe do business deals, maybe kind of talk about how you're going to change the world, and you really need a gorgeous place to be in for that, for people of this high status. And I really think I've done a good job with this place. It looks absolutely brilliant with these windows, and I really do think I'll do more interior stuff if it means I can get these huge light rays like this. And another cool thing about it as well is that it's all clean and pre-war, and that's something which I really like that the creation kit gives you. But also we have had so many mods in this video to actually do the decoration to also bring the place to life. It wasn't just with creation kit, it was also with the hard work of the modders to bring some absolutely fantastic elements together for us to use in the settlement mode. And I thank you. But now that that's been said, thank you very much for watching guys, this has been the final render. Remember to download this very special renovated place. It doesn't have all the decorations in it, it's got all the empty space for you to decorate it yourself, but you can download it on the consoles and PC, and hopefully you really enjoy the new and improved Boylston Club. And thank you very much for watching, this has been the final render, and you have been the audience. Bye bye for now.